Right guys, it's competition time again and we have got a fantastic prize for you this time. We've teamed up with BenQ and we are giving away a professional photographer's monitor to one lucky winner. Your theme for this competition is the great outdoors. Now I've chosen this theme because spring is just around the corner and in many parts across the world, we're coming out of lockdown and hopefully we can start getting out there with our cameras, the weather's warming up and it's just a great opportunity to get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. So to get us warmed up for that theme, let's go and have a look at some photos of the great outdoors. And it gives me a really good opportunity to introduce you to a photographer that we are working with called Tom Archer. Now Tom Archer is a professional landscape photographer, hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram, and he is making a course for us over at the School of Photography. So it's given me a great opportunity to show you some of his work. So here we go, here is a typical example of the style of what Tom Archer does and that is these grand epic scenes and this is a fantastic shot here up in the Alps. Let's have a look at another one from Tom and here we have a fantastic example of the great outdoors. I'm not 100% sure on this but I believe it was taken in the Faroe Islands and every now and again in photography you get that stroke of luck and I believe in this shot it's these two birds flying in the air there, it's absolutely fantastic. And let's look at one more from Tom Archer, and here it is here. Again, a fantastic, epic shot from Tom. And yeah, Tom is gonna teach you how to take these types of shots in his course, which is coming up in TSOP soon, okay? So keep your eye out for that. Now these are obviously pro-end landscape photographs, okay? Now if you can take them and submit them, then that's absolutely fine but don't let it put you off, all right? I'm gonna show you some other examples now from unsplash.com, which I think are great examples that anyone can take with any camera, all right? So let's go and have a look at them. And here is one from at Black Poetry over on Unsplash. I think it's a lovely example, showing the great outdoors. The trees are starting to bloom this month, so you might get some greenery like in this shot here. And yeah, it's just about time in this particular picture, isn't it? Waiting for the sun to rise or to set, and you get all of these lovely sunbeams coming through the trees. So that's a great example. Let's have a look at another one. And this one is by at Dave Hoffler. Brilliant example of using reflections. Again, it shows the outdoors. And it's the colour, isn't it, with this one? The colour really stands out, it really grabs you. And just another great example of the outdoors. Let's have a look at another one. And this is one from at Gemini Zuka 89. And it's obviously showing flowers, right? So they are starting to bloom now, daffodils. I'm not an expert on flowers, but I do know that there are lots of flowers starting to bloom right now. So you could use that as a focus as part of your outdoor photography. So there's the theme, it's quite simple really, it's the great outdoors. We want you to get out there, enjoy the outside, you know, we've had a tough time, so let's get out there with our cameras and let's be inspired. Could be on your daily walks, it could be in your garden, or it could be the vast expanses of, you know, rolling hills and mountains. Whatever it is, get out there and be inspired. So now let's talk about your prize. BenQ has kindly teamed up with TSOP to give away their SW240 PhotoView Photographer's Professional Monitor. And it's a monitor that's got Adobe RGB and IBS technology. Now, what does that mean, all right? It means that you get to see more colors. So it's specifically made for photographers and it's specifically made for people who are looking to print their work. With this monitor, you get to work in what's called Adobe RGB color space. Now, the long and short of that is that you get to see about 30% more colors and that makes it much more accurate and better for printing. Stands to reason, the more colors that you can see on screen, the better your print is going to be. The other thing this monitor's got is hardware calibration, and that is great because 
it ensures that you get accurate colors. Now, anyone who's worked with photography knows that it's very hard to get what you see on screen accurate to print and to what other people see on screen. So this has got hardware calibration, it comes with its own software, it's very easy to use, and it ensures that you get accurate colors from screen to print to other devices and so on. If you want full specs on the monitor, there's gonna be a link in the description anyway, so you can click on that and go and check that out. So how do you enter? Well, it's really, really simple. Firstly, you need to be following us on social media. So whether that is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever, you need to be following us. In the past, we've done competitions and people have entered the competitions and they've been really great shots, but they weren't following us on Instagram or Facebook so we couldn't give them the prize. So firstly, make sure that you are following us on at least one, but preferably all of our social channels. Then all you do is upload your pictures to Instagram and you hashtag them TSOP and BenQ. We will pick them up and we will judge the best shots. And I'm also going to ask Tom Archer to help me judge the best entry. The competition ends on the 31st of March and the winners will be announced on the 8th of April. Now, full terms and conditions are on the link in the description of this video. You must read them before you enter, please. And the other thing that you need to know is that this competition is only open to people in the EU and the UK. And that's because we're working with BenQ Europe and they can only send the monitor to them countries. So it's just the UK or EU countries, I'm afraid. I know we have a big following in America, but we're limited to where we can send the monitor, I'm afraid. So again, full terms are in the link in the description of this video. There's also a load more examples there as well. So you can go and check out loads more cool outdoor shots. Don't forget to check out other people's entries as well, which we'll be showing you on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube as well. So keep your eye on that and you'll be seeing other people's entries as we go. So good luck. I'm really looking forward to seeing your pictures. And remember, if you wanna learn how to take pictures as good as what we've shown you today, come over to the schoolofphotography.com and take our photography courses. We will teach you properly like we've taught thousands of people across the world. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.